Rising OS or Rising UI 1.1, which was previously known as Rystroid OS, is now back with this new update, which is as expectedly having the May security patch. And this is the new version, which is officially rolling out for some of the devices. If you didn't got the update yet, you might get very, very soon. I'm testing it in Redmi Note 10 Pro while making this video. It might be available for your device very soon if it, if it is not arrived yet. The major changes which I got here in this Rising OS latest version, Rising UI latest version, are very interesting ones so make sure to watch this video till the end the first one if you're able to notice is the new lock screen this kind of lock screen is actually not available in any other custom home as far as i know but yes you can enable this lock screen very easily by installing a magisk module i shared the magisk module on my other hindi channel if you didn't check it out yet you can go and check out this kind of lock screen which you can apply on latest versions of asp based custom homes like c android pixel experience or etc but rise droid or rising ui is now giving you this kind of lock skin ui by default it looks quite interesting actually and maybe something unique here if you take a look at the quick settings panel there are some changes here the quick settings panel is finally bringing you the android 11 style quick setting style which was not available in any of the updates as far as i know which is of course not a new thing or nothing unique but actually not every custom room brings you this kind of ui looks good and the best thing about this kind of ui is it's customizable i mean if you don't like this android 11 style you can choose a default style you have the option to restore the default ui in the quick settings ui if i choose here the default option let me show you okay this is how it's restored it's not actually the by default one you can simply move on to the customizations like tiles layout so if i enable this two columns portrait like this one okay it's restored and same like that we have to enable this quick quick settings portrait one and here it is everything is customizable looks quite good looks something really interesting and it's the second change which i got here after installing rising ui 1.1 same like that if i move on to the quick settings header images which is of course not a new thing but it's now actually available in many custom homes like c android is bringing you this feature we have project elixir now rise to os and there might be some more what this is you have this this kind of images in quick settings header i still remember the android six seven eight times when this this kind of thing was so interesting but with android 9 10 etc blah 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 we didn't got this kind of ui things but finally this quick quick settings header images are coming back it doesn't look that bad i mean it's not looking that great but it is not looking that bad too maybe with the new versions we might see some new changes or some new things with this new version the spoofing option is also giving you some new things here the spoof all apps which is a new feature new thing which is not available in any other custom room. and to be very honest i'm not sure what this option actually does but maybe if this function is bringing you something new something different this might be a different kind of thing but we will look into it and i will tell you the results as soon as possible whenever i got these things that what this app what this option is actually doing to your device personalization section has no options extract the same kind of options there but the biggest change is which we which we found here is in the autos launcher the autos launcher which is actually same kind of as rise to a launcher but because the new update of the previous update which was rising ui 1.0 the name was changed of rise to OS. so as expectedly the launcher name was also changed and now it is autos launcher the new or major change in this version is this shake gesture actions in the previous update there were shake gestures in introduced but with this new version now we have two shake gestures options for example the first one is for torch second one is for controlling music and also if i move on here if I, and if i try to enable if i try to check this feature by shaking my phone you can see i'm able to turn on torch i'm able to turn off torch the best thing is the intensity the shaking intensity options are present for example you can you can simply notice with the previous update sometimes the shaking was not actually detected or some bugs were there but with this new version it's finally fixed the best thing is you have the option to control the shake gestures intensity value is 4 by default in my case so higher the value more shaking things more shaking power you need to do for example if i try to enable the value 6 here so now if i try to shake my phone by moving uh, if i just enable this torch option and if i move on to my home screen once again by restarting the launcher of course and if i shake my phone like this as you can see it's not turning on why because i need more power to shake my device so the higher the intensity the more power you need to shake your device but if you move on here and if we move on to the home screen options 
you have the option to control the shake gestures intensity to value two so what this do is i just i'm simply shaking my device very slowly and like this i'm able to turn on or turn off the torch very easily it looks amazing the best thing is you can adjust the intensity according to your own preference same things are with the recents options too. In recents panel, we have the same shake to clear all recents, but the intensity option is present here in this one too. So it looks quite interesting. Something is really different here. Same like that. Other options are basically same. These are the major changes which we got here. Other options, the fonts customizations, the settings customizations, the icon pack customizations, theming customizations. There are many more things. If you, if you want to customize these things, link for the official version is available in the description. This is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and don't forget to like this one. Goodbye.